about the, the uh, care that Jackson received in the final hours Hello. of his life. Hello, this is Jacob Lee. I would like to illustrate how you can add your own Jackson models to a Focus Studio project. As you know, if you run Focus Studio with default settings, it will basically go ahead and diagnose each of the series in order to figure out the most appropriate model for you. However, in addition to that, Focus Studio also contains a repository of predefined models that you can review. So by clicking on Project and Model Repository, you will find this list of predefined models which are available for you to use. Of course, you can now go ahead and add new models to this repository. So for example, if I want to modify this uh, airline model, I can create a copy. And then I can make the changes which are required. So for example, I can call this my airline model. And I can change the functional transformation from non to a log transformation. And store that in the repository. So now, in addition to the default models, I do have a custom model which I just defined. So if I now close the model repository and switch in a Focus Studio project to the model view, I can add a new model to the existing models by hitting the Add Model icon. Now, either I go ahead and define a new model on the fly, or I basically fit an existing model from the model repository which we just reviewed. So if we do that, hit on OK, again we see the model repository which I showed you earlier, and in addition to the default models which are available in Forecast Studio anyway, I have my new model available here as well. So if I hit OK, this new model will be added to the model list. And as you can see, my model is not outperforming the models which were automatically found by Forecast Studio. But in other cases, this might be the case. So for some reason, you might want to force your model to be the winning model, even if it's um, not superior based on the accuracy statistic. To do that, you basically hit set this model as forecast model in the modeling view. Note that now the model you've added gets highlighted and this is now the winning model. However, since this is a, a hierarchical model, Forecast Studio tells you that now you probably need to reconcile the hierarchy in order to um, reconcile the changes down the hierarchy. So let's switch back to the modeling view where we can see the changes and if we now reconcile we see how the changes are basically reconciled down the modeling hierarchy. So in this demonstration I showed you how you can add models to the existing model repository in Forecast Studio and how you can uh, use these models in your Forecast Studio projects. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching.